Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all bros where I'm from, man. I'm from that. What's it, baby? Y'all know it is the big boss out. Boss out. K Poe through the dope. Hit a toe. This. Boxing. We talk about Frank Mark, man. As you heard, that he agreed to terms with Tank. Uh, nothing is official as of yet. I'm waiting to hear an announcement from Tank. And Frank Martin, you know what I mean? Mike Cappinger reported it from ESPN. That's why I saw it first. I also saw it on BoxingNews24.com. But like I say, nothing is official as of yet. But I find it funny how y'all was trying to put a smear campaign on Frank Martin's name, bro. Y'all trying to say he was ducking Shakur and all this stuff. And he don't want to take, you know tough fights and all this other stuff he fighting the head honcho on 135 if I'm not mistaken a dude that could potentially knock his lights out you know what I'm saying he fighting him you know what I'm saying I told you man you gotta pay for get these fights ESPN don't be paying fighters bro they'll pay they fighter but they not gonna pay the other dude you know what I'm saying and that's just what it is. You got to pay. Y'all was sitting there, oh, man, Frank scared of Shakur. What is Shakur Stevenson doing that's hurting, that, that <laughs> tank knocking the soul out of people? He only had two fights where he had knocked somebody out. You know what I'm saying? He knocking the soul out of boys. Boys is going to sleep. Did you see, y'all remember what he did to Lil Santa Cruz? And I don't want to hear nothing about Lil Santa Cruz was 126. I don't want to hear none of that. Because... Last time I checked, Leo was taller than him and looked bigger than him as far as muscle mass wise. Pause when they did the weigh in. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to hear nothing. Tank is a small dude. If he was disciplined, he probably still could fight at 126. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to hold you. Tank can still fight at 130. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, stop playing. You know, but y'all want to try to put a smear campaign on Frank Martin's name. Oh, man, he ducking. He ducking Shakur. He saw what happened to Errol, and he don't want that to happen to him. Shakur? I'm not saying Shakur trash. Don't get it twisted. He's not. He's a great fighter. But at most, what's Shakur going to do? Outbox him? At most? He not stopping Frank Martin? You know what I'm saying? This is stuff I'll be talking about with these casuals in boxing. I told y'all, no fighter afraid of no fighter. This is the hurt business, but the hurt business, you gotta pay. That's just what it is. Especially if you are if you are a top fighter in the game. Now, is Frank Martin a tier one fighter? No, but he's on the cusp. He's on the bubble, right? He has an opportunity to prove himself. If this tank fight, if, he, if it is true, and let's say he gets in there and he beat Tank. He'll show that he's a tier one fighter, right? Or let's say, hey, he get in there and he fight Tank, but Tank don't stop him and it's a close fight. He shows that he's a tier one fighter. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he get in there, he gets stopped, then hey, you know, let's say, I say this, if he get in there and it's a close fight and Tank happen to stop him, okay. You know, he'll be like still on the bubble. But if Tank get in there and just wash him, okay, then that, that'll show like, okay, you know, he, he ain't on that level. You know what I'm saying? But then you can make the argument and say, hey, he fighting a Tank Davis, the face of boxing, the face of division. You know what I mean? He may do better fighting a Shakur or a Devin or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But... Man, stop playing with this dude, bro. I just, I, I just, it's crazy how they push these narratives and put jackets on fighters and think that, oh, that's it. That's how it's supposed to be. Because y'all was killing Frank Martin. Oh, yeah, he dunking. He dunking, man. He don't want to fight Shakur because he saw what happened to Errol. Uh, Errol blocking the fight. Errol, don't, Errol mad that he lost. So he trying to block, you know, Frank Martin from fighting Shakur because, you know, he mad. I saw all type of stuff in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? You know, videos, my videos, other people's videos. Because y'all know, I be, on, I be on YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube, bro. I do. I watch a lot of YouTube. 
boxing. You know, I be in a lot of, I be watching a lot of people's videos. I don't comment, but I, just, I watch a lot of people's videos. You know, you might see me pop in on, if man is already doing a live, you might see me pop in there and I say something. If D-Town Boxing do a live, you might see me pop in there. I speak, you know what I'm saying? And that's it. I speak and I'm gone. But you won't see me in no comment section, nobody else video talking. Cause I, man, I be seeing all type of foolishness, bro. It's retarded. I just be sitting there looking like, bro, this nigga. And then you see certain YouTubers, man, they'll push the, and like I say, I ain't into the talking down thing, so I ain't gonna say that, but they'll push a certain narrative, right? And you know what I do? I cut that shit off. God forgive me. I cut that stuff off. That's what I do. I ain't got time to be watching that foolishness. I be like, he don't know what he talking about. Cut it off, never watch it again. <laughs> That's what it is. You know? I'm like, he try, he try to push a narrative. All right, what's, man, let me go and cut this off. I don't be in the comment section. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know, y'all. You don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I know a certain group of people that do do that. Bud buddies. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do that quick. You say anything about Terrence Crawford, you can get Terrence Crawford a compliment. They comment. I'm in one video and I'm cooking. I had one video. I, I did nothing but give Terrence Crawford compliments. This dude, a Bud buddy, came in the comment section. Oh, no. Stay on your side of the street. You know, you heard what Terrence said. Stay on your side of the street. First of all, I'm a grown man. Right? I'm a grown man. I'm not going to allow no other grown man to tell me what I need to do. Second of all, I ain't no fan of no fighter. When I hear a man say something like that, you're telling me you are a fan of him. You're not a fan of boxing. You a sack chaser. That's what you is. A sack chaser, a rainbow boy, a.k.a. alphabet boy. You don't need to be in boxing. You need to be focusing on your pride parades. That's what you need to be focusing on. Stop worrying about what I got going on in boxing. Okay? Don't worry about no boxing. If I see anybody else... <laughs> Talking like that, you getting exposed. I'm cooking you. I promise you. I'm a, I'm a cooking you. I and I, I told you I would. You know I I try not to do stuff like that. But it's like these boys, man. You gotta go hard on them for them to understand that hey, there's nothing to play with over here. You gotta smoke them. You know what I'm saying? You gotta smoke them like a turkey. You know what I'm saying? Get all the fat off. Get all the you know all the, all the excess. You know that's what we gotta do in this boxing game. We gotta get all the excess fat off. That's these casual fans. And I'm going to continue to do that. You come over here and play if you want to. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I actually speak louder than words. That's all I'm going to say. But to get back on topic. Frank Martin. Right? If he's fighting Tank Davis, this is a, a W for him. Right? And the spear campaign on his name. Because I saw on ESPN, Mike... Capinger was uh, reported that, you know, basically, you know, he fighting Tank, and then he was like, you know, bringing up something about that, you know, Frank Duck Shakur Stevenson. Basically, he said it like that. Like, oh, you know, he didn't fight Shakur Stevenson. You know, I'm like, wait, hold on. Let's tell the truth about that, right? Let's not sit here and create false narratives and false analogies and you know, like he just ducked Shakur like he's scared of him or something. I, I don't like when these company men, because that's what Mike Capiger is, a company man. He's not a reporter. He's a company man, right? When you're a reporter, you unbiasedly make just and accurate statements, right? You don't, I had to say the right word because I was about to cuss. <laughs> you have to make just an accurate statements and fact on factual information when you're reporting. You can't sit here and, and, and be biased. Oh, he's basically, he's saying in so many words, Frank Martin Duck Shakur, he didn't want to fight him because he was scared. But he gonna fight Tank. If Frank Martin was scared to fight Shakur, he definitely wouldn't have fought no Tank. If Frank Martin was scared to fight Shakur, he definitely wouldn't agree to terms and try to fight Tank. Stop playing, bro. You boys tweaking, man. I don't understand this. I gotta say, man, boxing is ridiculous. It's like a high school. You know what I mean? 
Hell, I didn't like high school. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because of that. All that popular you know, all that, I, I didn't like that. You know what I mean? Like I only like high school for one thing. I got to play football and it was girls. That's it. I didn't like I, I'm not a drama dude. I'm not a dude that's you know, I like drama. I, I can't stand it, bro. Like when I see stuff like that, bro, I just get irritated, man. You know, and this boxing game irritates me. Sometimes, you know, it make you just not want to, you know, you be like, man. But then I'm like, man, if if I leave, then the more casual fans going to come in here and push narratives. Boss got to continue to stay on their throat. I got to continue to suffocate the game. So that's what the boss man going to do. But Frank Martin, man, I hope this fight is official. I hope it's true. I hope this is because this is a good a good look for him. It's a good look for Tank too, and, and you know Tank giving this man an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a big shout out to Tank because he giving Frank Martin an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? To show what he can do. You know against Tier One talent. You know what I mean? You know, and then it's also. I'm going to do a separate video about Javante Tech Davis because, you know, it's a smear campaign on him, too. You know what I mean? So, y'all be, be looking out for that. Bye, Scott.